Hello friends, welcome back to another episode of Faded Chronicles. Notice how I didn't say Twitch Diaries because uh, Twitch Diaries is all already in use by somebody else. Um, so today on Faded Chronicles, we are going to discuss different types of streamers and how that applies to me and my, uh, my mindset and the logic that went into developing my own niche, if you will, in the Twitch universe. Um, so. Before we get started, uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Steven, aka Max Faded. I am a Twitch broadcaster. Uh, I stream Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday from 9.30 p.m. Pacific time until I get tired. I have been streaming on the platform since June of 2017. I primarily stream League of Legends, um, but I have been branching into other games recently as well. Uh, this video series faded chronicles is supposed to simulate me writing into a journal or a diary um so there's going to be as little editing on these videos as possible to give you the raw thought of mind uh, i don't want to edit so much to where it loses the the rawness of it i that's why i like twitch um, because of the live environment it is very raw motion raw passion raw personality raw character that you're seeing um, there isn't a lot of ways to edit edit out the bad stuff. You get the good and the bad with the streams, and that's what I love about the platform. Same thing with YouTube. I know YouTube, you can edit this shit into the ground to where you sound perfect every video. I don't want that in this video series. I'm gonna make I'm gonna stumble. I'm gonna make mistakes. I may say things uh, not not the right way. Like even right now, I'm not even formulating my sentences correctly. That's okay. I want to keep all this in here. I want to keep it raw. I want to have that angle with the with the series. It's not about being pretty. It's about getting straight to the point of what, what's going on in my mind. Excuse me. As a Twitch broadcaster. So, our topic today is the different types of Twitch broadcasters that are out there. Or d just different types of broadcasters in general. And what I mean by broadcaster is anybody who streams on Mixer, Twitch, Facebook Live, whatever it may be. YouTube gaming. Um... A streamer who streams games uh, primarily is what we're talking about today. There are other streamers that do like cooking and IRL and fitness and all that. Um, I'm specifically talking about game streamers, streamers that make a living or want to make a living streaming video games. Um, there are different types of streamers out there that have different appeals um, to different audiences. The first and foremost uh, streamer, this is probably the beginning of streamers, uh, if you will. These are the first streamers to kind of pave the way for everybody, in my opinion. Uh, these are your professional gamers. Uh, these guys are insanely good at the game they play, and oftentimes they play for teams uh, that are paying them a, a pretty decent wage to play a game for a living. Uh, they're on teams, they're competing against other teams um, for in tournament for trophies, uh, what, what have you, um, prize winnings. These guys are the very best. They're like the point, they're the zero point zero 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 one percent of the player base. Uh, they are the gods of the game that they play. Uh, these are are a type of streamer which I label professional gamers, meaning they are the best at that game. They don't necessarily need to be on the team. They don't need to necessarily be on a professional team, um, but they are so good at the game that that is their main appeal a lot of a lot of streamers especially in pvp games um that are very popular are in this category as professional gamers or former pro former professional gamers that are still the very at the very top of the game um they have a way higher skill than your average player um for example with league of legends i am a gold player in league of legends typically right now i'm silver but that's besides the point I am a gold player in League of Legends. There are a number of streamers that are challenger level and higher um, that pull in thousands of years. Now me as a gold player, I'm not pulling in thousands of years, obviously, um, but people tune in to watch these people because of their skill, because they want to get better at the game, because they want to emulate what they're doing. Um, these people are insanely good at what they do um, and they may not be the most engaging people in the game usually your pvpers are less engaging at, as a matter of them just being in pvp games because they have to focus on the game so much um, but even your professional gamers take that to another level because they really have to focus on being the best that they can possibly be um, for example even uh, even tyler one uh, he is very engaged in, uh, as a broadcaster but even when he's in his game like he'll have moments of silence to where other like streamers other different types of streamers may have no silence whatsoever but 
people understand that at that level, you have to really focus in on the game uh, in order to succeed and, and win. Uh, if you're constantly trying to interact with your chat or interact with other people, um, you're not going to probably do the best in the game and you're going to tank your, your rank. Um, so that's just one example. So you have your professional gamer. On the other side of that coin, uh, you have your entertainer. Now, entertainers, uh, that's a broad ter term. I was trying to think of a term that would be a little bit a little bit easier to describe uh, this type of broadcaster, but entertainer I think is the most loosely based one that you could use to encompass a lot of uh, streamers. Many of the of your of your streamers that are not necessarily great at games, but are very good entertainers fall in this category. Um, one entertaining uh, Twitch streamer, and again this is uh, debatable, uh, is. Let's, I want to say Gathalian, but I think he's pretty good at PvPs. I would say Total Biscuit. Uh, he's known for his StarCraft play. Uh, he's known for like the RTS scene. Um, but I wouldn't say he is a top-tier gamer. He's more of an, a personality, more of an entertainer. He's, he, his, uh, his handle for a long time was Cynical Brit. Um, he was known for being very cynical and negative towards games and, and being really a harsh critic on games. Um, people tend to gravitate around this guy not for his gameplay but because of his personality um he gets the viewers that he gets because of the personality that he brings to the table that is so unique and that is so him um that is one other type of streamer that is out there it's called an entertainer for lack of a better term uh and they make a niche for themselves based on their unique viewpoints uh their unique style uh and they they set themselves apart from others as opposed to a pro gamer who is purely based on skill. These guys are entertainers and they're based around their personality or the value that they, the value of uh, entertainment that they bring to the, to the viewer. Um, so those are just two different types of streamers that you'll find on these, on any of these streaming platforms. Um, the third is actually combining the two together, which I like to call a hybrid. Um, your hybrid streamer is someone who is not only amazing at the game, but is also a great personality. Um, when you combine those two, uh, you have the ability to transcend any platform you're on and rise to the top very quickly. Um, the easiest example I can provide you uh, would be Dr. Disrespect. Um, Doc Disrespect um, is playing a fictional character in every single stream that he's in. Uh, he plays to the camera uh, based on this character. He's very cocky. He's disrespectful. Um, and he plays a disrespectful character um, to a T. Um, everything about his lay his layout, his, his overlay, his emotes, his alerts, everything is related to Dr. Disrespect and his way of approaching life, if you will. Um, and on top of that, not only is Dr. Disrespect doing an amazing job of being an entertainer, um, he is also very good at the games that he plays. So, for example, he plays uh, he plays battle um, royale games or BR games. So he's a big time PUBG player, a big time Fortnite player, I, I believe, for a little bit. Um, I'm not sure if he got uh, uh, if he really got into Fortnite too much, but for PUBG, that was his bread and butter um, back in, uh, last year in 2017. Uh, he skyrocketed out of nowhere to become known on the platform from PUBG from his character and his ability to play the game at an extremely high level. This guy would get no less than 10 kills every game. Um, he would be very close to winning every single match that he joined. Uh, he was just insanely good at this game that is very difficult to, to master. Uh, and that is what drove him to success and to get insane viewership numbers. Now, you're probably wondering why all this matters and why, why am I even talking about this? I take those into account when I'm addressing my value, my niche that I'm going to present. Um, what do I bring to the table to set myself apart from others? Uh, and that's where I have to be realistic with my with my with myself. You have to look at yourself in a realistic lens. You cannot be optimistic. You cannot pretend that you're something that you're not. Um, you look at your gameplay. I like, to, I like this PvP game called League of Legends. Am I the best player at League of Legends? Is that why people come to my stream? No. I, I am a gold player, which is pretty average, um, and some would say even below average as a gold player. Um, I am a gold player um, that is not very good at the game, uh, so people are not going to tune in to watch my stream unless they're probably making fun of me. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so gameplay at, at a high level or, com- or extremely competitive level is not what most people come in to see. Now, obviously, there are some that will come in that are maybe lower ranked than me that want to see how I do it at my level. But they're not necessarily coming there for my for my skill. What I bring to the table, obviously, is going to be more on the entertainer side. And this is what I've been dealing with, uh, with since I started streaming, creating something that is unique to myself um, while still being true to what I believe in. So I've always been community centric since the day I joined the platform, meaning I want to do everything with the community as much as possible uh, and involve the community as much as possible in everything that I do. Now, some people like to keep community at arm's reach. You know what? I don't want them in too close. I, I, you know, they can they can watch me play games, but I don't really want to play with them. Or they can they can watch me do this or that, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take time to spend uh, hang out with you guys. Um, since day one, I've I've let my community into my life. They know about my family, which again is a is a, is a risk for me, but it's it's a risk that I've I've been willing to take. Uh, they know about pretty much my, a lot of my personal life and I, I i broadcast that personal life whether it be on social media or otherwise um because I, I want people to feel connected to me um i am extremely active in in our discord server um more so than i see in other discords i'm i'm, I'm part of a, a number of discords and i feel like i'm probably the most active out of the group of discords that i'm part of and that is a commitment to me to make sure i stay engaged with that with that platform make sure i stay engaged with other social media platforms so even outside of the streaming scope i'm being engaged with my community uh as much as possible because that's my angle like i want you guys to feel like you know me forever that we can be friends like when i see you on the street it's not going to be some oh my god some big shocking moments but like oh stevie he's a homie like that is my angle there and i'm slowly trying to build um more than just community i'm trying to build the community to transcend the game that we started with and i feel like we are starting to get to that point uh and these again these are the thoughts that are coming out of my mind that i think about when when looking at different types of Twitch broadcasters is like, what am I? I am not a highly competitive uh, pro player and I never will be at a pro level with my gameplay. Age is against me in that in that regard. The older I get, the slower my reflexes will get and the less I'll be good at, at uh, competitive gaming. Um, so I have to really leverage the entertaining piece of it. I can still be semi-competitive, but be highly entertaining. And part of being entertaining is obviously doing the basic stuff that you've heard on other other YouTube channels or other uh, videos, interact with your audience, constantly be talking to your audience and engage with them as much as possible. Even if you have one person in your channel, if you have nobody in your channel, if there's nobody in your channel, make sure you're just narrating what you're doing in the game, explaining what you're doing to yourself. Like, why am I attacking this enemy this way? Why am I building this way? Um, why am I walking this way or why am I doing this or that? Explaining what you're doing. If you have nobody in your chat, just do self-narration. Do a monologue with yourself. Um, if you have very few people in chat, engage them. If they don't engage back, just continue on like you're having a conversation with them. Even if they don't respond, just continue on like you would be having a conversation with somebody. Be like, oh, so how's your day today? And you, have, you hear nothing. And be like, oh, so my day. And then you just jump into your day. You start talking about your day. If no one responds to you, and just tell everybody how your day was. Even if it's like one or two people, it doesn't matter. You're still communicating because in the off chance that someone stumbles upon your stream, um, they'll see you engaged and, and interacting with what appears to be your chat. The worst thing you want to do is be quiet. I mean, silence is the most boring thing to watch. Um, if I wanted to watch silence, I would just go look at a wall or something uh, because that is literally what you're doing to yourself. So please, whatever you do, do not be silent whenever you are, um, whenever you're streaming or anything, because no one wants to just sit there and look at you and not have any interaction, especially if they're trying to talk to you and you're not responding to them. That's like the worst thing you do. Not only being silent, but just not responding to the chat. So make sure you periodically are checking your chat. I'm um, getting the habit of doing that when you first start streaming, because that, that is really difficult to do at first. And it can be overwhelming and, can, and take over the majority of your brain capacity to be able to do that and also play the game. Um, another thing that I would suggest too is, uh, networking your ass off, uh, and not doing it in a scummy way either. Do not be a scummy networker that you're just, you're just networking with people just cause you want to use them, actually engage with them, actually invest time in these people, actually go and support them and whatever they're doing. Um, they don't necessarily have to be streamers that you're engaging with. It could be other people that are uh, also Twitch viewers. The more people you engage with, the more likely they'll be engaged with whatever you're doing later on. Um, for example, in my case, I'm engaged, uh, I've engaged with multiple streamers of my size, 
And not only do I make an effort to watch their streams all the time, but anytime they're streaming, I try to shout their stuff out. I try to retweet their tweets whenever they're live. I, I like their tweets whenever they're live just so they get more exposure and I'm supporting them in multiple ways because I really want to lift them up because they they deserve that and I, I care about them because uh, it's not just networking at the end of the day. It's, actually, it's making friends. I think I heard this the other day where um, someone said, like, when you say network, it sounds so intimidating. So use make friends instead because it's literally the same thing so when you're out there make sure you're just trying to make friends in the beginning especially if you have no viewers another trick that you could use that i used when i first started streaming was telling all your irl friends um and uh, granted you may not have a lot of friends i don't have a lot of friends um but i i would tell everybody at work i knew even if even if they didn't, weren't even gamers I, I was i was just shooting in the dark i was like hey i am streaming i'm very passionate about this project um i would love for you to come check out the stream uh let me know what you think uh, and some people don't even know what the hell a stream is, so you're explaining that process to them as well. Some of the people may actually be secret gamers that you never knew about. Whatever the case may be, you're getting exposure to your channel, and you may have some viewers there that you actually know in IRL, which will make it even easier. Another thing, too, if you're having trouble um, talking while you stream, is to game with friends. Now, sometimes it can get tricky because you ignore your chat, but if you are looking for ways to kind of get yourself out of the funk of not talking, um, just stream while playing a game with your friend and then have that kind of back and forth dialogue with your friend to help you express yourself more. Um, use that as a crutch for a little while and then slowly try to wean yourself off it and see if you can, you can have a solo conversation with your community or with yourself even. Um, once you get to that point, then you'll be, you'll be set to go and you won't need that crutch so much anymore. But those are just little ways to help, little, little hacks to help you get over the hurdles when you first start streaming. Um, but yeah, let me just recap it real quick because I don't want this video to go too long. Um, there are three types of streamers that I see out there today. There are your professional gamers. They're gods at the game they play. There are entertainers. Um, they make us laugh. Uh, they make us think. Um, they say things that, are, that get us all riled up. Um, they are your entertainers. And lastly, you have your hybrids. Hybrids are these, are these freaks of nature that come one in a million where you combine a professional gamer ability with an amazing entertainer's personality and you have this once once in a very, very long time uh, entity that is able to transcend the platforms that they that they arrive on. They attract people from, from all around, from all different corners of the gaming world because of what they bring to the table. Um, so those are your three different types that you have. Think about the type that you, uh, think about the type of streamer you are. Uh, lean into that and then and then hone that craft and it may take you a while to discover what you are but make sure you really think about your ability your skills uh, and think about why someone would actually watch you would you watch your own stream ask yourself that and if so then what are the reasons you would watch your own stream and be honest with yourself the hardest part about this whole thing is being honest with yourself um, I ask myself every day I don't know why people watch me um, and I continually am trying to improve myself to add more value to my streams. So good luck in your, uh, in your adventure. Uh, I hope to hear from you guys soon. Let me know how the streaming life is treating you. If there's any questions you may have that have not been answered in this video, be sure to um, leave a comment below with your questions uh, and I'll, I'll try to get back to you. Uh, I am also going to start trying to um, drop videos um, Tuesdays and Thursdays, at least Thursdays, at least once a week. Um, but I'll try to drop Tuesdays and Thursdays as well if I have the time for it. Um, and yeah, uh, if you like the video, guys, as always, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, and until next time, you have a wonderful day. I love you guys. You're the best. You're so pretty.